All right, Group B of Suman Guru, the second game of round two, where we have Twuggle reign supreme in the first match, going two 0 versus Steve S, who you know to have a chance desperately needs to probably win two 0 So I'm really looking forward to this match. And Twuggle is a friend, so is Steve. So I'm, you know, gonna be biased. <laughs> Let's go. Twuggle is Twuggle. Shump. A struggle. Right, so as you notice, there are a few different things here. Small mods, small trees mods, the relics. Right, I wanted the boar heads. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We have Steve playing as the Khmer from Germany versus Twoggle. It's so weird to see small trees because now it makes everything else look so big. Twoggle, the American player, is Japanese. And Twuggle was dominant in the first game. And <sighs> we shall see if that continues. Yeah, so this is evacuation. You start in a, an island which has cracked terrain. And on cracked terrain, your buildings take a lot more damage than what they normally would. And eventually you're meant to boom up a little here and then evacuate onto this main island. Which has lots of luscious resources and even... Cows. <laughs> now some people don't. Some people stay on this island, boom up, and go for the early kill. But uh, we'll have to see how these two play. So, Japanese, I've learned, I've learned something now about the civilizations. Japanese have fast efficient. I'm gonna be a pro player before you know it, guys. See, that's about all I know, though. <laughs> and come here. I know they. I think they can make elephants, right? <laughs> but I think this is Twoggle's home map because Twoggle chose the last time as game one, but it was almost disastrous for Twoggle last time. Came close to dying. <clears throat> All right. Nowhere. I hit it from nowhere. I don't want to pay royalties, Bergwin. I want to pay royalties. Do I have to pay royalties? <laughs> <laughs> you said I don't have to pay for royalties, and I heard it from Bergman. No. Mm. Right. Again. Just standing out with their build orders and bringing in lots of hunts. The rhinos. Mmm, juicy rhinos. Steve! Steve! Nice. Oh, look at all. Check your sources. Okay, first game is... Oh. <laughs> da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Right, I'm gonna try and remember that now. Again, Steve is going around getting the cows. Now, nah, we'll see. I predicted this game to end. I, I think my, my match prediction is gonna be 2 0 to Twoggle. Hopefully Steve can prove me wrong. Bold statement, I know. I'm sorry, I probably lost my friends. But I got told it was okay to predict stuff. Because... Because... I don't know. It's their job to prove me wrong. <laughs> there we go. I mean, I don't... Only them, like the people playing, to prove I'm wrong. I'm, I'm wrong pretty much all the time, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Loom comes in for Steve. Let's talk about Loom. Toggle don't have Loom, but. Toggle is just kind of trying to pester right now. Trying to just annoy. Feudal's clicked up for Steve. Hmm. Now the scouts are firing. Ah, run. Run, Twoggle, run. Loom comes in for Twoggle. And they're both forced to be chasing each other. Meow. And Feudal's coming in for also Twoggle. Bit slower on hitting Feudal. Yeah. I'm just going to slowly faster up. 
just a little bit. Steve hits feudal. Now if it ends like 2-0 to Steve. Yeah. I'm gonna be mega wrong. Hmm. Alright. Steve, hashtag just passing. Ooh, he sees this uh, evacuation going on. Gonna steal the cow. Or not. Yep. That was weird. That was weird. Ding. Yeah, to toggles docked, obviously. How come the pig head doesn't show up at the door? That's so upsetting to me. That's like what I wanted so much. No, no. Well. And looking at the economies. Zoom. Are you going to be free to cast some more tomorrow, Bergwin? Out of curiosity. Oh no. Oh. Was it? The villagers revolting. Like I mean, like they they're going against the the scouts. Not like they're ugly. Oh, okay. No, it's all good. It's big win. That's it. Just if you ever want to join, I just just like let me know. Okay. Ooh. I'm inclined to ask, but I don't want to pry. By all means. Goes up for Twoggle, who's every pop cap. Oh. Now, with these trees being so small, everything just looks so big. Everything looks huge in comparison. It's tripping my brain out still. I'm still feeling confused. But it's okay. Scouts are battling on. The fights continue. Oh, Steve was close to losing the scout there, but again, more scouts come in. Now Twiggle's going to try and... Uh-oh, uh-oh, it goes down a scout. Bye. Just like the scouts are just like dueling here. If I was Twoggle, I would have killed those just out of spite. <laughs> it's a good job I'm not Twoggle. Game kind of pauses up here. However, Steve got ideas of his own. Best form of attack. Wait, no, the best form of defense is attack. Or something. Uh... Old sir. And, oh. Woggle did see this. The town center is going to be hidden. But. This here was huge from Twoggle. Oh wait, and the Khmer. Sorry, 
I just remember the Khmer can have villagers hop in and out of their houses. So I thought all the villagers died, they didn't. It's just they went into the house. My bad, lol. Noob. Once again, noob. Ah, the spearmen stop these from Steve. And Twaggle's kind of... And more and more villager kills and Steve is... is, is clicking up to castle but kind of... Rumbling just a little. Oh, that's nice, it's gonna kill. Well, gonna damage at least. Twaggle's really sticking it to the man right now. And there's five kills, six kills, six villager kills. Oh no. And Steve is really fallen behind. Okay, I was worried that Steve still has the villagers uh, garrison, but I just need to get rid of this. Toggle's doing a really good job of keeping these scouts alive and just kind of delaying the economy. That's what he wants to try and do. And they go in. Opens out. And this is such a nice play from Toggle. Really being a pest. Oh! Nope. It's not. See, Twaggle's just really, really keeping him down, and maybe there's gonna be a. <sighs> He's gonna get a breath of fresh air here, but. Look at that. Just when Steve thinks he can breathe, more raids are coming in from Twaggle. Eight villagers killed. And look at this. Nine villagers killed. This can be ten. Twaggle's just so dominant in this game. Gonna clear this up now. It does have knights. One knight. Two knights. Three knights. Four. There's kind of like a 2,000 resource difference between Twoggle and Steve now. Still hasn't addressed this. Had to garrison, once again, the villagers. And that's going to slow down the wood. Only got three on wood. Meanwhile, Twoggle is, is dominating. It's only one way I can say about it. Twoggle's dominating right now. Steve doesn't have any upgrades for the, the knights or anything, neither, so... Again, another villager goes down. I'm gonna say... Going by this, Filster's gonna have a lot of trouble versus Twoggle. I think Filster needs to run and hide. Twoggle's coming for everyone. Twoggle's coming for the Summon Guru crowd. What's the crown? <laughs> no host color. Ouch. To be honest, I, I think Steve is just, like, obviously, you know, it's, it's, say just all these raids, it's just probably overwhelming for Steve, and, you know, Steve's probably, like, they got the, the build order and all that stuff, and it's just really scary right now for Steve. This twaggle just kind of, again, does clear this up, at least, can breathe for now. But now the knights are coming in. Just getting these knights are upgraded. This will be interesting to see what happens here, because... Oh no, once again. Ah, uh, Steve is, is just boxed in. Steve can't... I 
Every time Steve thinks he's gonna get a moment to breathe, it's just twuggle, 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 twuggle. Wow, Steve is doing a mass evacuation though. Realizes something needs to be addressed, and it's a really good thing these twuggle is real. Really good thing Steve can garrison inside these houses, but. Only 33 villagers for Steve now, and half of them are idle, hiding in houses. Thirty-nine kills from Twoggle compared to Steve's eighteen, and nineteen villager kills. Yeah, this is just you know. This is super challenging, I say for Steve, this just can't get the moment to breathe. Can't even get into the game. No, it's just been smothered, straight up smothered. Twoggles, you know, Cav is fully up like upgraded for now. Again, just constantly being hounded. More villages go down. It's a good thing these villagers can garrison in the house, because otherwise, they I think they'd all be dead. They'd all be dead by now. All of them. Every single villager. <laughs> Again, like the economy behind this from Twoggle. Yeah. Now, Twoggle, come on, don't... Nice. Honestly, Twoggle don't need to worry about that right now. They just need to keep hitting with the raids and stuff. And this scattered knights here for Steve it was clearly in disarray at the moment. Okay. Oh, it does get a nice sneaky lumber camp here at least. Gotta hope the Twoggle doesn't see that. Doesn't. That's one piece of good news for Steve, but... Uh, this isn't looking good at all. Maybe... Well, even as I was going to say, maybe Steve could drop a tower here, but against knights it's not going to do much, is it? And Gigi's cold. 1 0 to Twoggle already. Twoggle was dominant. I just. Doesn't give Steve a chance to breathe whatsoever. Just constantly hounding, keeping the, the cab alive. And right now, I think my prediction is coming true. Let's see. Maybe Steve can pull it back in round two. And if not, Steve is going to be eliminated. As Steve. I mean, Steve's going to lose both his games, and that means 2 0, 2 0. 0 4. Yeah, unless you can win the last game 2 0, but then I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It doesn't look good for Steve. Once again, the statistics. Uh, well played, though, by Twoggle. Now we're going to go, going to go straight into game. Game two. Bypass. Where? Steve is now playing as Spanish, and Twoggle as the Vietnamese. And this look, this map now looks so weird. I'm so used to like lots of trees being everywhere. Now they've just all been small. They're small. Not needed. They're done. So it'll be interesting to see. Obviously, at least this time they're walled. They're kind of more arena type setting. So they can kind of at least like have some more time to breathe. A lot of people are aggressive and play for the middle of this map. Of course, you can't build on this terrain, you can't build castles, for instance. Many people have tried, and many people have indeed failed. But some people block the middle up, really fortify the middle, and then go for the sides and then attack from behind. Although, as I said, most of the times it's just a brute force for the middle and to kill the other person. And once again, this... this Steve needs to do something here, try and at least get one win. So yeah, I was really impressed actually in the first game by Twoggle. This time Twoggle didn't give the enemy a chance to breathe at all. Okay, both bring the elephants in. Steve is pushing in the ostrich. It's nice.
Here we go. And Steve, uh, so some people hold the gate open and push the hunt in. Other people just break a piece and just push it in that way. Oh, naughty Zebra, Naughty Zebra, Naughty Zebra. No, oh no, oh no. Oh no, no, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Steve is... Uh... That must be annoying. Oh, uh, and now... Does want to fight down the hill. If I lose this... If I was Steve and I lost this guy, I'd be so tilted after like trying to like push these zebras in. Okay, this is actually a good, good scout jewel. Toggle just had the experience to go back onto the hill and... Oh uh, yeah. Wow. Now Steve is down a scout. Well, Steve remembered to block this up. See? It did get walled up at least, that's nice. Presto. Once again, we just kind of like pause as Twoggle goes to. Feudal. Steve is going to get two more villages out if your feudal comes in. Steve has a lot of idle TC time as well. One minute. File. And that feudal is just about... Okay. Steve is, is fallen behind quite a bit. Once more. There's the archery rangers. Double archery rangers. That means some sort of archer push. I don't know why, if I, if I... I'm gonna say siege, and then break this gate and just flood the archers in. <laughs> well, we'll see what Toggle does. And as I say, I, I don't I don't know tactics or anything, I'm just... We shall see. Also, though, those wall pieces are funny and random. But... Two villagers behind. Steve goes up to feudal age right meow. And he's gonna place down a market. Maybe sell the stone, just to kind of juggle around, sell, sell some food maybe. Just to try and juggle around some resources, try and get back into driving speed. Okay, here comes the archers. Gonna start attacking the wall. And Steve has to react to this. You, know, you can't just let this come in like this. I think. I, I, I don't see Steve stopping this. Trying to wall up that. Oh, maybe Steve can just at least wall up. This. Gonna lose your villagers. 
And this is only just delaying. This toggle's gonna try and break through here. It's a nice delay. Just gotta hold on to Castle Rage. Maybe get some knights out. Once again, Steve is forced to just try and get some walls down. Another villager goes down. And this is a lot of archers. This is a lot of archers. You don't want these in your base. Oh no. Oh no. Mana manners, so good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Steve does get to cat. Oh, this whole time. Steve didn't have Loom neither. Steve still doesn't have Loom. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Professional caster. Are we watching the same? Okay. Loom does come in. Oh, this is so painful. What enemy troops do you want in your base? Um. Hmm. Well, if you're going monks, right? And you don't have no army, then you can convert them. See? Big brain. Big brain. Ah, uh, this... Ah, uh, this is... this is... really painful for Steve, who... who is eliminated now from... Eliminated from some guru, group B group. It's just a. I did say it was going to be 2-0 to Twoggle, because, like. <laughs> Emu Warrior! Shout out Emu. We just watched some. The Twoggle was real. Shout out Emu Warrior! Yay! <laughs> yeah, it was really tough. Um, we just watched the game. Just. I'll, say, I'll just recap. Quick recap. Really rough game from Steve. As I said, so it's like the archers were hitting and he was just you know, very casual about it, I say, about building walls and just kind of like, oh, okay. He relied too much on trying to get to Castle Age and, and try to get nice. Hi, Zaki. Oh, uh, yeah, it's been interesting. My brain is melted. Huh? It's been interested. Interesting, even. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna cast her, I can't wait. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> But yeah, didn't have didn't have loom neither, and then and then just yeah, it's just just the mass the massive archers. And this is just Steve at this point was just like, oh no, uh, I'm gonna place I don't know what to do. I'm I'm just gonna place a castle down here. And then tried to you know loose, <laughs> and loom wasn't still wasn't in, and then ow 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 ow. And this was hurtful. Nothing couldn't build knights. Couldn't build nothing. Yeah, that's true. It's just it was over before it began. Twoggle, Twoggle wanted the two nil. <laughs> Twoggle guessed the two nil. GG's anyway. Good game, well played all. As I say, once that happens, couldn't get stopped. I'm gonna try and update the tables right now for this group. Which is actually a really. So, when I show you the results of current B, group B, current standings, English are difficult, right? I'm gonna show you. Uh. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We're doing this. We're doing big brain stuff. Trying to. Oh. This, this, um, it almost looked rigged. Rigged, in a way. Because, all right, the current B. Um. <laughs> it didn't update. Uh. Uh. Update. It's not updating. Just when I thought I was doing big brain stuff. 
Oh, I know what I did. Now? I saved over the wrong file. <laughs> Oopsie. There we go. I saved over the wrong file. I have a look at those results. This is like the most clearest. The most clearest ones ever. I, in fact, I think. I think both Steve and Tom. No, because because the results are so clear. Both Steve and Tom are eliminated. So that's actually very decisive indeed. Yeah, there we go. Sorry, Steve. Sorry, Tom. This is the nature of the beast. It just, it's, it's all going to like come down to who's fighting for first and second between Filster and Twoggle. Oof. This is, the, this is definitely the, has been the most clearest uh, group in terms of like top two results. And that's Sumon, Sumon Guru Group B, I guess. We'll just watch Filster versus Twoggle. I mean, right? <laughs> mm.